Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube page. Got a new video for you today. This one is called Mira Skill. So to start off with, I would uh, take this deck of cards and pass it around, let people shuffle the cards as much as they would like. And while they're shuffling, I'm gonna take my post-it pad and a pen. I'm gonna write down a prediction. So I will do that off camera here. Again, this is being done while the cards are being shuffled. I'll fold up my prediction. I will attach it to the pen, put it right here in the middle of the table. Again, these cards are being shuffled while I'm doing that. So they'll hand the deck back to me completely shuffled. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the deck and I'm going to make three piles on the table. I'm going to turn over two cards at a time. If both cards are red, I'll put those in a pile. If both cards are black, I'll put those in a pile. And if one card is red and one card's black, I'll put those in a third pile. And we'll do that for the entire deck. So I'll start on the top here. We've got two red cards, so I'll put those in a pile. A red and a black, I'll put those in another pile. Two reds again, two black cards, and I'll make a third pile of two black cards. So I'll just keep going like this, two black, black and a red, two black, black and a red, black and a red. And I don't even have to take from the top if I don't want to. I can take two cards randomly from the middle, two blacks, I can take the two bottom cards, two reds, let, uh, let somebody reach in take out any two cards they'd like, two reds, it really doesn't matter uh, as long as you're just going through the whole deck. Black and a red, two reds, black, black, black and red, red, black, black and red, black and red, black and red, and black and red. So I've got three piles here now, uh, a red pile, a black pile, and a black and red pile. This pile we don't need, so we're going to get rid of that pile. And what we're going to do with these two piles is to count up the number of cards in each. So we'll start with our red pile. And in this pile, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 cards in the red pile. Remember that. And in the black pile, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 cards in the black pile. I believe we had 12 in the red pile. 12 and 16. Now, I made this prediction here at the very beginning of the video, before we did anything, while the cards were being shuffled. And it's been here on the table the entire time. Again, we have 12 and 16. I predict at the very beginning, I'll try to get this on camera here, but it says there will be four more black cards than red. Four more black than red, and we in fact had 16 black, 12 red, four more black cards than red. Now that's pretty cool in and of itself, and normally with most card tricks you'd put the cards back and you'd move on. There's a general rule in magic that you don't repeat tricks uh, for the same audience. A lot of times when you do a magic trick, people might say, hey, do that again. But you're not supposed to do that because uh, usually when somebody's watching a trick for the second time, they're not watching it to be entertained or to enjoy it, but they're watching it to try to figure out how it's done. So you usually don't want to repeat tricks for people. This is uh, one of the exceptions. This trick's kind of the opposite of that. Uh, this is a trick that you definitely want to do a second time. And the reason for that is uh, a lot of people, if you're paying close enough attention, if you watch this trick once, you might think you have an idea of how it's done. But if you do the trick a second time, uh, you might kind of throw people off the scent and they might not be so sure how it's done after all. So this is one of the, one of the rare tricks that you definitely want to do a second time. And so I'll go ahead and do just that. I'll take the cards out, have them shuffled, 
and we'll do the trick exactly as before a second time. So let the cards be shuffled. And again, I'll take my post-it and my pen and I'll write down a new prediction while the cards again are being shuffled. Take this new prediction, fold it up. Again, put it right here in plain view on the table. So again, these cards are being shuffled. Pass them around, let people shuffle as much as they like. They'll give the deck back to me. And just as before, we'll do the same thing. We'll make three piles, red, black, and red and black. So we've got uh, red and black here, two reds, two blacks, Red and black, red and black. And just as before, you don't have to draw from the top the whole time. You can draw cards out of the middle like this. Take the two bottom cards, take a bottom and a top. It's really, uh, really up to you as long as you go through the whole deck. Oops, two blacks, red and black. Two reds, two reds, red and black, red and black, red and black, and finally, red and black. So again, we've made our three piles here. This pile, the red and black, we'll get rid of as before. We've got our two piles here, our red and black piles. And as before, we'll count them up. In the red pile, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 in the red pile. And in the black pile, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 in the black pile, 10 in the red pile. And again, we can check out my prediction that's been here ever since the cards were being shuffled. And it says, if you can see it there, there will be two more red cards than black. Two more red than black, and we indeed had 10 in the red pile and only eight in the black pile. So that is called mirror skill. And like I said, it's one of the rare tricks that you definitely want to do. Uh, again, you want to repeat this trick after you do it the first time, because. Like I said, if you do this trick only once, if you're paying close enough attention, you might kind of have a, an idea of how it's done. So hopefully if you do the trick a second time, uh, you'll, you'll dispel uh, any idea that people had of how it's done. So uh, again, that's mirror skill, a uh, really easy beginner's trick. Hope you guys liked it. Thanks for watching as always, and I'll see you next time.